This episode of the Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Go. Charlie Sheen wants to give Lindsay Lohan some advice. I kind of think he might be the perfect person to do it. Um, he's obviously been down the same road as her a few times. So he was, he went on a radio show. The Dan Patrick show. Right. Yeah. And he was, he said some words for her. We have an audio of it. Were you drunk on the set doing the show? Yeah, never been drunk, never been high on the set once, but would show up having not slept much, doing a network run through and asking the director, Jamie Widows, huge shout out, um, best guy alive. Um, to, to, to move my mark a little bit, just so I could be next to a piece of furniture on a table. So you could lean on it? Yeah, so it wouldn't fall over. All right. But, 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 but Dan, that is an expert move by a seasoned professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> an amateur stays on his mark and then falls over during the run-through. You're a pro's pro. Thank you. Hey, right. hey I, I, I dare you to get Lindsay on the show. You get Lindsay on the show, I'll call in, because I, I got some advice for her. Just oh. know, check... Check this down. I got some things I'd recommend she consider because I don't tell anybody what to do. Give. Oh, so what's your one piece of advice if I have Lindsay Lohan on? <sighs> um, work on your impulse control. Just try to think things through a little bit before you do them. Now, check it. I was not there in the store. The necklace, the thing, some bracelet. Who cares? I mean, it's it's it's. They just, they just, uh, it, it, they're so desperate to vilify without, without, without fact, you know. Oh, wow. that Lindsay Lohan. What, um, <laughs> this guy is not uh, taking his recovery seriously. Well, does it, isn't he having, like, professionals come to his house so he can have rehab at home? <laughs> yeah, that's going to work, I that's think. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that's a good plan. Definitely. I think it's recommended. <laughs> I can't help but just love Charlie Sheen. Is it, really? just, is it just me? I just love him. Um, <laughs> I, uh, you know, this is what, what, my, what I think is perhaps the weirdest Charlie Sheen story is that he has, he went and spoke to the UCLA baseball team. Yes, he did. W <laughs> what is that about? I don't know. And his explanation about it, he apparently told them, stay off the crack unless you can manage yourself socially. Drink chocolate milk instead. <laughs> Those are, he gave better advice to Lohan. Yeah. Sheen says to Dan Patrick, dude, check it right. First of all. <laughs> dude, check it right. So we finish. I don't know what they finished. Um, he, he had some visit with the team, and there were some major league players right. uh, working out there. Uh, uh, Coco Crisp, Milton Bradley. Coco Crisp of the 2011 World Series champion Oakland A's. So we finish, and I'm walking off uh, with Coach, and he says, Hey, Charles. Charles. Hey, Charles, can you run over and give the team a pep talk? The guy's in rehab at home, <laughs> yet somehow he's out at Jackie oh. Robinson Field working out with the team. I love it. Uh, can you get, run over and give the team a pep talk? And I looked, and there they are. So I, it wasn't like, no, Coach, I can't. There wasn't like I had an option. So I had 30 feet to come up with something brilliant. I thought, let's get down to the brass tacks and tell these kids what it's all about. Make it quick and then just run. Then I realized what props I was holding. I had a bottle of chocolate milk. I had rumors that I've had problems with crack. And then it just came out like poetry. Stay off the crack unless you can manage yourself socially. Drink chocolate milk instead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if those aren't words of wisdom, I don't know what is. <laughs> and he gave $10,000 to the UCLA baseball team. Oh, well, good for him. Yeah. Well, why would he talk to a baseball team. It's not like Wild Thing was real. Well, he's a big baseball fan, and he was there with uh, Milton Bradley, Coco Chris, mm -hmm. Mike Stanton, Chase Utley. Interesting. Yeah. I, there think you it's, go. I just love me some Charlie Sheen. You do? I do. I, d I mean, not not in that way. But I like that he's, he's always been himself. He doesn't, you know, have all these PR people telling him what to say. He just says what he wants to say, and he's kind of been honest about it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Let him yeah. have a good time, whatever. No, he. I, I like that part. I mean, he's a. He's a. You know, he's a. Where we may be watching a guy. You know, uh, self destruct. Possibly. I mean, I. I kind of think that he should be more of a father. If he didn't have kids, I really wouldn't care. I'd be like, do your thing. But uh, I kind of feel bad because I think he has like four, five kids. Don't know. Yeah. I he's think got he, kids though. Yeah. Yeah, at least four. I think so. Kind of wish he would be 
more of a parent, but I don't know how much he's there for him anyway. They don't really talk about it. They just talk about it. Seems like Martin Sheen would be a great grandparent, doesn't it? He does. Yeah. And Grandpa Marty, (laughs) you know. What about Uncle Emilio? (laughs) Less good, but Grandpa Marty seems awesome. He does. Yeah. I don't know. Uncle Emilio might be awesome. (laughs) You know what? I take it back. I think Uncle Emilio would be uh, would be awesome. Uncle E. <laughs> Uncle E. Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Emo. E. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. But Grandpa Marty kicks ass. Yeah. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. They've got 75,000 different titles. A book I've always meant to read but didn't have time for is Guns, Germs, and Steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it through Audible.com. Actually, if you're a Young Turks listener, you get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com/tyt.